Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another retro shiz look back at the past. But these are starting to hit store shelves now because, well, we have a new Beetlejuice Beetlejuice movie coming, and NECA Toys has decided to reissue this Beetlejuice figure that was released some time ago. But I'm actually kind of happy to have it because I don't have one. Now, they've refreshed the packaging. Beetlejuice, ah, greens, purples. You got the sandworm right there. That's a nice illustration on the back side of the packaging. Again, continuing on with the greens, you get to see Beetlejuice. You also get to see the next figure, again, which is another reissue of him in his wedding suit. You can read up on Adam and Barbara. And of course, here's the barcode. Mine came from Walmart. They're starting to hit store shelves a little bit early there, but soon enough, they will be everywhere. So this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new reissue from the upcoming movie, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice in his striped suit. You gotta space it out or else you know what happens. It's showtime. All right, so here is everything taken out of the packaging. And for a lot of you out there who already have this figure, there's not gonna be too much new here outside of a redone head portrait. You get the same accessories. This one just being the red snake, which if we're being honest, barely looks like a snake, I guess, because of the shape. He can't hold it. In fact, he's not gonna be able to hold really any accessories because his hands are wide open and you don't get any other hands. So for instance, the really cool handbook for the recently deceased, which is always well done. I mean, when they do books, Deck of Toys really does rock it. So that's always nice. And it's nice to have this as an accessory. But like I said, with the open hands, you kind of have to fudge it. You know what I'm saying there? But I digress. The actual figure if you can handle it, the least amount of articulation possible for a more modernish action figure, as we all expect, right? Let's keep that in mind. The head portrait is amazing. In fact, I love what they did with the hair. It's more of a clear plastic that they painted green. The look to Michael Keaton, I would say, yeah, that's definitely Beetlejuice from the teeth to the green moss slime, the eyes. That is really well done. So for that, I love it. Now you do get the tie, that's a separate piece. The suit itself, that's always something when it's a white figure, you're dealing with stripes. Again, I'm happy to say that there really is next to none sloppage or any weird lines. Everything is pretty darn solid, especially in the creases of the sculpts with the pants. You got peg holes on the bottom. That might be helpful for this figure. You have little details like the ring on his finger. He has watches all over. I don't think I ever knew that about Beetlejuice. Didn't know that he had watches on one side. And on the other, no watches, green slime on the hands. It's really cool, but again, it is going to be a very, very minimally articulated figure. I know a lot of you out there will say, oh, this is baloney, why are they reissuing it? There's a lot of people out there who really want this figure, I myself being one of them. Now, you'll get some momentum going in the hands. You get a little bit in the gut. He actually kind of has like waist gut swivel to him. You don't want to get that going too far forward. I'll show you that. The boots will swivel but he gets to be kind of cumbersome to stand when you have certain elements of the articulation. So if you get him hands down, sure, that totally works. When you got the arms outstretched and you don't have the feet properly stanced, he's gonna go a tumbling, especially, like I said, if you have him all the way forward with his guts, don't even bother. But he does have peg holes, so if you got a stand, like a DC Multiverse stand, that will definitely keep him aloft. And speaking of which, he is a seven inch scale action figure, so he will go well with other seven inch scaled action figures, like the DC Multiverse. How's that for a crossover? Or the real Ghostbusters, which, man oh man, back in the day, the Beetlejuice animated, the real Ghostbusters, that's a nice callback. And throughout the years of Beetlejuice action figures, from the Kenner days to NECA Toys to the Loyal Subjects, and then back to NECA Toys again with their Toonie Terrors, you can't go wrong with some Beetlejuice fun. And yes, there will be some more Beetlejuice figures and maybe a playset coming from NECA Toys, so just be patient. If you don't like this, I think you'll be stoked. So. That is going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new reissue of their striped suit Beetlejuice from the Beetlejuice movie, 
but it is a tie-in to get people excited for the new movie Beetlejuice Beetlejuice that is coming to theaters the first week of September. I have little to no hope. I'm just going to go in there and kind of have low expectations and kind of hope that it's just good in that sense. Fingers crossed. That's really it because we all know how sequels, remakes, all that kind of stuff goes these days. Old stuff totally holds up. New stuff, yes, few and far between. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Beetlejuice. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to reissues and old figures coming back, if you can handle it, like I said, there's some gems to be had. And this one is definitely pretty cool. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.